the fourth thing or the fourth fundamental secret that you know need to know about Python is efficient filtering. And trust me, you're going to need this way more than you think you do. Because you're going to need this when you want to get a subset of the data frame, when you want to just visualize a subset, when you want to put a subset in your the training of your machine learning algorithm, or when you just want to troubleshoot to see why something doesn't work the way that you want it to work. So it's actually super simple. You just need to know how to do it efficiently. So you need two things. One of them is the shell and the other one, the other one is the condition. And I came up with these names, so these are not official. <laughs> okay, so the shell is this. It's basically the name of your data frame and two brackets. And inside those brackets, you will be putting the condition. And the condition looks like this. It's again, the name of your data frame. So this whole thing is the condition. And I do not have this anymore. I'll just say mail. So you say, give me this series. So give me this column with this name and everything that equals to mail. If I run this, this actually returns a series object already, but the series object is uh, filled with true or false values because it says, goes and checks here. Is this mail? True. Is this mail? No. False. Is this mail? True. Is this mail? No. False. And that's all. And how you're going to filter your data frame is by doing this. I write the shell. And inside the shell, I put my condition. That's all. Now you filtered your data frame. This is really all you need to do. This is of course, is not the only way how you can do filtering. You can again, use some built-in functions. So let's say you want to check um, the gender column to see which ones are non-values. And then you say is now then you get all the ones that are non-values. Do you want to get all the ones that are not non-values? You just need to put the negation here, just the negation. And all of a sudden you get all the ones that are not none. Perfect. And let's say you want to check if the age is in a certain list. So for that you use is in. So this is basically a list. So I'll just take it out to show you. You again, this is the shell and this is the whole condition. And you're saying age should be in this list. And that list has four values. And then when you do this, it returns only the columns where the age value is in this given list. Um, so we've only seen how to do the single conditions, but you can also combine some conditions. So let's see, maybe I can combine hobby. So I'll use the shell and then I'm going to say users hobby. I want that to be volleyball, right? Okay. So this works. But what if I also want people who are hobbies are volleyball, but who also are, whose age is also in this list. So to do that, I cannot just plunk this here by saying end. All I, what I have to do is to first cover the first condition with uh, parentheses and then add the end like this and then take the second condition again, put it in parentheses and run it that way. It gives me the same thing, but you know, instead of and you can also use or, and that one says either the hobby should be volleyball or the age should be in this list. And then I get a slightly different list then. And that's basically it. There is no other trick to it. Now you know how to combine them. Now you know how to negate them and how to construct them. So that's all you need to do. And if you remember what I said in the beginning of the video, all you have to take care of is what goes in, what go comes out. As you saw, what goes in is my shell and my condition function. Shell looks very simple, nothing fancy there, but the condition function or the condition statement, just all it needs to do is to return a series object that has, that is populated with true or false. That's all. You just need to make sure that your condition can return true or false. And that's why we also combine them with logical um, arguments. This has been Panda Secrets that will make your life easier as a beginner. But if you're interested in learning about the functions of pandas and how they're used, go ahead and check out my pandas common functions cheat sheet. 
There I have definitions on, you know, on functions that will deal with missing values or deal with duplicates, or you can learn how you can change the values of the data frame. So I'll give you the definitions and the functions and also some extra tips and tricks that I don't talk about here. So go ahead and check that out. I will make sure to leave a link in the description of this video.